homes that some people are choosing as a lifestyle option. They're already very popular in big cities, but demand for the small dwellings is getting even bigger everywhere else. Melissa Rainey has a closer look at what's driving up interest. When it comes to housing, living small is big. Demand for tiny homes is getting bigger with more than half of U.S. adults saying they would consider downsizing. That's according to a recent poll released by the National Association of Home Builders. A majority said they're at least willing to consider moving from a full-size home to one that's a mere 600 square feet. So what's driving up interest in living in less space? Builders of tiny homes say small dwellings allow you to have a smaller mortgage, save money, and use that cash to upgrade your living. However, not all generations feel the same way. While more than half of millennials and Gen Xers are open to the idea, the feeling is shared by only 45% of baby boomers and 29% of seniors. Potential interest doesn't only depend on age, but also location. Building codes and zoning laws in some cities make large-scale sales of the tiny homes harder. And if a home is on wheels, buyers may struggle to secure traditional financing. But changes are on the horizon. According to the National Association of Home Builders, a newly updated building code relaxes certain requirements for tiny homes, like the ceiling height and staircase specifications. 